When did you join the show? You joined the show season three, right? For- no, honey. I was there since the get-go. Uh, season one, I auditioned for the Davina role and um, got a call back, flew out, didn't get it. And then I got a call from, or an email from Jill saying that they were going to do this whole yoga teacher friend, smaller role. Um, can you put yourself on tape? So I did that. And then they were like, okay, it's yours. So then uh, one episode turned into two, and then I didn't know what I was going to do because I was, you know, being a guest star sometimes is a little, you don't know which way's up, you know. And so I was stripping all over Manhattan and Queens. And um, I had just shot a pilot, an NBC pilot in Puerto Rico that did not get picked up. And I was gagging. I was like, oh, my God, I have to go back to the strip club. What am I going to do? You know, uh, I've already been out there. My tea is exposed. And then I got a call for season two, and they put me in half the episode. So that really, like, allowed me to literally clean out my locker and start acting full-time. Because um, I had been kind of navigating the acting world prior to that stealth, and this was, like, my coming-out party. My first two jobs, I didn't disclose that I was trans, and that's how I kind of dealt with the industry, because that's how I was taught to be by my first acting teacher and everyone I had, you know, kind of looked up to. Um, how did they, how do, what do you mean taught you to be? Like taught you? Taught well, you when you not? pass, you kind of get access to more things. And back in the day, 10 years ago or more, there were not very many trans roles. So I was told, if you want to work, just don't tell anybody. You know, if you want to have a job, if you want to have a future in this industry, just don't talk about it. You can go out for regular cis female roles. No one has to know. Um, my agent knew, and that was it. So um, transparent was like my leap, leap of faith. And so that's why it was so scary for me before season two, because I was like, damn, I just outed myself, and I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Am I going to lose my bread and butter at the strip club? What am I going to do? So um, that's how it came to be. And I guess, you know, I, got, I, I was rewarded for just stepping into my truth. It's like, it's like the world, the universe, was just waiting for me to kind of step into it. Can I ask you a potentially cliche question? Um, sure. <laughs> that period of time where you had to pass an audition and you auditioned for cisgender roles without being able to sort of come out of the closet and talk about who you, who you were, what did, what did that period of time feel like? Well, I was so programmed to just kind of snap into character. Like, literally, when I would go into the audition room to audition for a cis role, I would just, you know, there's a certain way of being at, that I would I would embody. Same thing with the strip club. There's certain slang I wouldn't use. It was literally like living in character part-time. Um, and it was the greatest acting exercise ever because I did it for years. Um, but I have a different way of being around my people. And I think we all do that kind of coding around different groups of people. We have this like chameleon-like ability to kind of to compartmentalize and get through life. Um, and so that's what I did. But uh, I remember being on Law & Order um, for my, one of my first guest spots and just feeling uneasy. And also it was, it was around the time that Orange is New Black hit and Laverne, who'd been a friend of mine for like 10 years, was, you know, it, it was blowing up. And I was just kind of feeling like, like, no, that is, that is what I want. I want to be fully transparent, no pun intended, um, about what I am and what I've been through in my journey, because there's merit in what I've been through, and I don't want to hide my journey or, or, or my struggle or my brilliance, you know? So after that, I learned to kind of um, harness it. I went to an LGBT acting class with Laverne and um, found access, uh, I, I gained access to all these different parts of myself that I didn't even know I could use in my acting work, which I say today, is like a secret weapon for trans actors, which is why I think we can go on and play non-trans roles and be brilliant at it, because we have such a rich experience that can be put up and through the text and aid us in character work, whether the, tra- whether the character is trans or not. So I think that is the future, is us getting back to playing any role, not just trans roles.